Hello and welcome to All About Electrical. So friends, so you have you are thinking about availing a new connection, new electricity connection, and don't know how to go about it. So let us discuss in detail what is your connected load, how much sanction load you have to take from ESCOMs or electricity supply companies, and what would be your estimated electricity bill according to your usage. You will calculate your or your on your own at the end of this video. So please watch till end. So friend, let's discuss about connected load on load profile of your home. So if you're having six fans in your home, which is having a wattage of 80 watt, uh, so total connected wattage would be 480 watt and if you're using it for 10 hours, it would be 4800 watt hours. So likewise, if you're having 10 fluorescent lamps, its wattage is 40 watts, 400 units total connected load, 40 multi multiplied by uh, 10, total number of hours usage 10, so it would be 4000 watt. So accordingly calculate, put out all the appliances you are using like mixer, iron, water pump, AC, TV, fridge, laptop, diesel, washing machine, whatever and put out the wattage and accordingly total calculate the total connected wattage. So here my wattage is 6760 watts. If I convert it, it will be 6.7 kilowatts. So this is my load profile, I'm using it for this much hours in a day. So accordingly it would be 25,975 units per day. So I'm using 25.975 units per day. So for 30 days it would be multiplied by 30, so 779. So for a month say 7 units, 8 units is my consumption. And my connected load is 6.7 kilowatt. So if you're going for a new connection, go for the higher. Take it a little bit higher. So any appliances you can add up. So you can contracted load should not could not exceed that sanction load. So take it as a sanction load. For so keep uh, I have keep on a gap. Uh, seven kilowatt means seven thousand. Uh, watts minus 6, 7, 2, 3, oh. so, which is 240 watt I can use extra gap I have taken because in, in the meanwhile uh, I can add up uh, different uh, appliances so take sanction load as 7 kilowatt they will ask you what is your connected load you have to say my connected load is 6.7 kilowatt so I am going uh, about 7 kilowatt sanction load so they will give you sanction load of 7 kilowatt and this load in your daily usage you should not exceed this load I will tell you in detail when calculating the bill so so if you're using for domestic purpose, the domestic urban tariff will be applicable. The tariff structure is fixed charges plus energy charges plus electricity tax on energy charges. Normally, fixed charges are the fixed one you have to pay whether you're using or not. Energy charges on your usage only. How much your meter is recording, how much meter is recording the kilowatt hour or unit, you have to pay that. Otherwise, uh, there's no need to pay and not using it and electricity tax on energy charges only not on the fixed charges so if you are a domestic consumer so let us take an example of a tariff uh, in a domestic category so first kilowatt 70 unit 70 rupees and for every additional kilowatt you would be charged 80 rupees accordingly 0 to 30 units energy charges slabs 0 to 30 units 3.95 rupees per unit, 31 to 100 units 5.45 per unit, 101 to 200 different slab 7 rupees per unit, and 200 and above their different slab will be charged more 8.05 per unit. So 
let us calculate a bill if you're using 780 units per month so what would be the probable you can estimate your probable bill on your own i will tell you now so this is the basic bill structure this is a basic bill structure there are basic parameters in every electricity bill you will find it uh, there's name of the consumer your account id your rr number whatever it is what tariff you are uh, what tariff you are applicable on see here is lt2 a1 for town municipal corporation this is a domestic tariff and here is important they will show you how much you are sanctioned on uh, and uh, here it is the bill reading meter reading date what on what date meter reader will come to your home for billing purpose and uh, here is the bill number here is the present reading present reading is 780 and previous reading so if you have taken new meter so there is no previous reading so it's zero and it's present reading 780 so it's meter start with zero and you have consumed you have consumed 780 units so meter is showing 780 units so it's a meter constant it will multiply the units your difference present pre present minus previous as uh, your consumption and in higher installation your ht installation are your uh, big consumer of electricity then it will come into picture they multiply it by 1 in if you are 30 kilowatt consumer a particular watt consumer uh, then there is a different meter for you the different setup there will be a cd according to that cd current transformers here the meter constant will come and they will multiply it with your consumption okay now md recorded so here in your meter md will be recorded and accordingly the meter reader uh, put the md on your bill so if you exceeding the call your contracts will demand if you have your contract uh, the, uh, demand the sang- that is sanction load is 10 kilowatt if you are exceeding that limit you will be penalized accordingly and you will be charged double of that so be aware of this you should use within this limit 7 kilowatt as a limit and please use within that limit and if you if you want more if you are connecting more load or more uh, equipments you are connecting please take the additional load sanction so th- so you can use without any penalty it is a here the pf charges you are if you are inductive consumer you if you are using reactive power then it will come into picture it will, we will discuss in detail what is power factor later on so let us move on to your bill main parameters so you are having sanction load 6 7 kilowatt for first kilowatt as for the tariff 70 rupees would be applicable and for the next 6 kilowatt 80 rupees would be charged for it is add up 7 70 uh, to 480 we we'll get 550 this 550 charges are the minimum charges if you not using if your meter is not running you are not in you are not in your home you are outside for a month or year this would be but you will charge 550 till the date is uh, till, till the date of the agreement possible agreement so this is fixed one this is no there is not going anywhere till you terminate that agreement so energy charges as per the slab for the first 30 units will be charged 3.95 for the next 70 5.45 for the next 100 7 rupees for the next 580 remaining 580 units out of 780 You will be charged 8.05. Accordingly, your energy charges is 5,869 rupees. So add up. Uh, so let us. Uh, these are the different parameters. Uh, accordingly, if you are old consumer, that will come into picture. Not here. Electricity tax 9% on total energy charges. So 9% of 5869 is 5. 28 rupees so add up your bill fixed charges plus energy charges plus electricity tax your current one bill is ready 6947 is your estimated bill according to usage your bill will come to your home and hopefully 
so you should domestic consumer uh, as per this connected load as per this load, load profile as per the sanction load you have learned how to calculate your own bill for any doubts and comments please inbox comment in the uh, comment box please give your suggestion and please subscribe this channel and click on bell icon so that you get the notification thank you